The day is in our control, let's take control of it. Woke up, I did 50 jumping jacks, did sit-ups, I did leg lifts, I did some stuff to get my blood pumping, to get a little bit of sweat running. I decided, I decided I'm gonna do that every morning. I'm gonna stretch and do a little bit of workout. Just in the morning, it doesn't matter how much, just to get the day going, to set the precedent for the rest of the day. Also, I'm on vitamin C ready to go, because yo, if my throat hurts all the time, it's my own fault. Solutions, solutions to problems. Uh, I'm gonna go get some breakfast from downstairs. I'm gonna try to do five small meals today to get the metabolism growing. growing. I'm not gonna say that I'm turning into like a health freak, gym junkie person, now no. I'm just making better choices that are in my control to fix the problems, because yesterday's vlog, I was when I was editing it, I was like, wow, in the morning I was so happy and cheery, and then I started feeling really bad about myself, and I'm like, everything's in my control, so, to a good day. Right, Lolly? Lolly knows what's up. You wanna work out too, Lolly? Lolly knows what's up. All right, so I have an interview in like, one minute, exactly one minute, they're to call me. I got some, so I got three eggs in total, two egg whites, one normal egg, do you know balance? I got some spinach, green pe peppers, red peppers, mushrooms. I'm cooking that up right now. Things are going great. Five small meals. No, no, just the eggs. That's a, that's a small meal, goddamn. Usually I be eating a stack of pancakes. Alrighty, so I have just been doing a bunch of emails. I had a call, did my interview. I have two meetings, as I said. I got a phone call and I didn't get that role that I auditioned for. And I was like thinking about it on the phone and I was like, I just had the call. I, I'm honestly fine. Um, I can't expect to, this is gonna be a conversation where I'm talking to myself, but also you. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit like, oh man, I didn't get it, but also like, I just moved here. I can't expect to do a few additions and like land roles like that. Like people have been doing this for years. People are much more experienced than me. I am starting from the absolute bottom trying to learn how to audition, how to do all this stuff. Um, so I'm still very, very new. And just the same way it took me six years on YouTube to get where I am, it's gonna take me a long time when it comes to traditional Hollywood, for lack of better terms. So I didn't get it. Um, it's fine. Not the make or break, like I said. That's it. That's what it is. We're gonna keep trying. We're gonna stay positive. We still got lots of work to do today. It doesn't take away from that. And we learned a lot of things during that audition process. So if anything, it's still a positive. It's still a positive. Nothing lost. Everything gained. And that's what's up. We're gonna kill the rest of the day. We'll kill the rest of the day. Um, I get to, uh, not get to, I will not restrain myself from reading, but I'm, I'm scheduled to have another little meal in like 30, 40 ish minutes, and then I'm ready for my meeting. Lego, Lego! Bay! Um, I'm headed to my first meeting. I'm gonna grab some salad to eat in the car. Uh, I'm continuously talking to myself because I'm genuinely not, you know what it is, it's so weird. It's, I was talking to Sarah about it. It's the double life thing that, it screws me over a little bit. It's like, on one side, like, I'm trying to maintain my channel uh, as much as I'm trying to do auditions and stuff. I'm trying to make sure my channel's still bumping. My videos are still creative and funny and you, we both enjoy them. Um, so I'm doing as many collabs as I can. Like I'm shooting a collab today with Alex Wasabi, Laura, uh, Laura DIY, um, and Yusuf, and then I'm shooting another one for Yusuf's channel. At the same time, it's like, I'm also trying to break into this other world where I'm like a no one. So it's like on the one side, I'm like, so many shoots for digital stuff, so many collabs, so many opportunities, so many things. Then over here it's like so much work as well, but it doesn't go anywhere because it's auditions and it's like, it doesn't go anywhere in terms of, who is calling me? Hello. Sorry, prime example, calls for YouTube stuff. I guess, okay, I'm gonna stop blabbering. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, on one end, I'm like, you know, I got my six, whatever success I do have on YouTube that I'm so grateful to have, it took me six years, and now I have to train my brain to understand I have to do the same thing for traditional Hollywood. The advantage, like, this doesn't mean I start here. This still means I start here when it comes to Hollywood. I just need to, and I'm willing to do that. I'm so willing to, and I'm willing to work for every opportunity that comes my way. It's just so difficult to shift my mentality to be like, oh, okay, like, here, like, you'll be, get certain opportunities, do certain shoots, do whatever, then here it's like, yo, anything can happen because like you're one of them, you're a thousand other people are good at that. There's a thousand billion people better than you here and who have more experience. And what I'm trying to say in the most blunt terms is that it's hard. It's hard to have one part of your life where you have six years experience and then another part of your life where you have zero. And you're trying to work your way up and you literally have to 
start from the bottom. So my life is like this right now. I hope that makes sense. I don't know, I know I'm blabbering on, but that, that's just what it is. I will continue to audition, continue to work hard. I'm not at all like sad I to get the part. Whoever got the part clearly was better than me. And yo, I'm all for that. I don't have that much experience, but I just need to adjust my life and mentality to accommodate for both of those things. You know, it's like doing Bodman shoots here, here, getting an acting coach. Like, you know, just routine things. You know, I need and my finger hit the record button. I need to meditate more. I'm happy, it's great. It is a sunny day, I'm heading to meetings. I have shoots with my friends later. Everything is wonderful and we're gonna figure it out. Whatever's going on through the break, whatever I need to adjust, acting coach, whether it's certain times of the day focus on YouTube stuff and then the next days focus on like, other stuff, then I'm just gonna have to figure that out scheduling wise and I'm gonna have to train my brain to go back and forth between the two. And it's gonna be fine, cause we're gonna do it, cause it's in my control and I swear I'm not just saying this on the camera to sound good, like, I mean this, it's in my control and it's, you know what the best part is? Being self-aware is half the battle. Being aware of the fact that this is why I'm having trouble and this is why I'm feeling some type of way, that is half the battle. You should be so self-aware and know exactly how you feel and why you feel that way. So we are heading to grab some salad, going to our meetings. This is the vibes. Uh, let go. Prime example. I get here, go to my meeting. Again, security giving me such a hard time. I couldn't get out of an Uber at a certain point. He's like, no, you gotta go across the street, go back out. Then you can get out of your Uber. You can't get out of your Uber here. And I'm just like, an example of starting from the bottom of the ladder because when I had my premiere, this is gonna sound really douchey, but I'm gonna say when I had my premiere last, two weeks ago, there was security around me. So welcome to my split life. Welcome to my split life where I am two people. I'm Hannah Montana. Mm, what's up, what's up, what's up? Just finished my first meeting. It is a gorgeous day and I'm just walking very slowly because I wanted to take in the moment. I'm like, yo, it's a great day. It's sunny. Sun feels nice on my skin. I'm trying to take in the nature and trees around me to be like, yo, there's so much to be grateful for. So I'm taking a moment to do that. Um, I'm heading to my second meeting now, which I think is across town. And um, then I'm shooting my collabs, like I said. Sorry, I know I repeat throughout the day a lot of times what I'm doing. It's, it's also for myself, partially, so I know what I'm doing. And I'm lost. Hold on. Okie dokie, I'm back home, running a bit late. My hair's a little bit distraught. I'm going to eat a small vegan chicken and veggies thing right now. I got some Greek yogurt as well, which I'm very excited about. Grab some yogurt and walnuts. You know I love my yogurt and walnuts. And then I'm heading to Yusuf's place. Um, I feel bad, kind of bad. He asked me to be in a video and I'm like, sure. But the role he wants me to play is like almost, is like very similar to what we did in Suzy's video. So I was like, if I, do that, if I do that same thing back to back, it might be a bit strange. You'll understand a bit more when you see Susie's video, but yeah, I felt bad about that, but I just wanted to be honest with him. Um, so I don't know if I'm doing something for his channel anymore, um, but I am still doing it for Alex's. Oh. Yo, look who I'm with, we shooting a clam. Hey. This guy's the biggest he diva says, like, ever. I know, you. I can literally make a montage of all the times you've done that. What's up? Hey, normally I, but normally I say what's up ladies, but I'm not because I got my lady right here with me, so what's up, what's up ladies, how, how you feeling? Do you feel that? It's us coming out of a dream. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to shoot for Alex's channel. What are we shooting? Pancake art challenge. Oh, you know how hard it's gonna be to not eat all these pancakes right now? Alex, what are you doing? You eat all. No, I'm trying not to. So when is it being uploaded again? Wednesday. Wasabi Wednesday. Wednesday. You know what's Wednesday. up and the channel is? Okay. Wasabi Productions. Uh. <laughs> Go away, Cheers. Cheers. This is my tea dot sister right now. Hey. When are you going back to Toronto? No. Is it snowing there? Super snowing. Is it cold? Super cold. Well, listen, anytime you visit, you can come to my place, okay? I'm so sorry. What's mine is yours. You know what's up? You know what's up? What's up? Can I run away with you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can have a girl's night. Oh, I meant with her to Toronto. Oh, yeah, sure. Go. This doesn't affect me. This conversation doesn't affect me. This conversation doesn't affect me. All right, um, I'm going to head back home and get some emails done. I'm hungry and eat again. I don't know what to eat, though. What should I eat? Um, pancakes. I'm a vegetarian. Chipotle. Trying to eat healthy. Pancakes. I could have a salad from Chipotle. I could do that. My boyfriend, Dollar. Hey, Dollar. Hey, Dollar. If you don't like my videos and don't want to subscribe for me, that's fine. Subscribe for Dollar. <laughs> say, say, say. What about the one to kill Super Mai? My name is Dalla. Got mad girls lining up outside for me right now, and I'll be like, yo, what's up? My name Dalla. Wait, why isn't your owner cute like you, huh? What if Dollar had hair? Hold on. Look at this. What if Dollar had these hair? 
work, 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 work. It's a mean big work, 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 work. It's a mean big work, 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 work. It's a mean big work, work, work. And the booty. I mean the big work, 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 work. It's a mean big work, work, work. Okay, okay, boo boo. I love you. Here you can go. Yo, I am back home. Um, I can't wait until Monday because Humble's coming on Monday, and um, and I can't wait to like come home and have someone here to work with because right now I'm finding by like 10 when I come home, I have so much work to do, and I'm just like, I'm alone in my place, and it makes me sleepy. Usually, I, during the day, I don't have that problem because the sun is shining, and I'm very driven by sunshine, but at night, when I'm alone, it's Kind of tough sometimes. Um, my body kills. Like I even put some medication on my shoulder because my shoulder feels like someone just hit it with a hammer. I don't know what happened to my shoulder, but could be because I worked out yesterday and I haven't done it in so long and my body's like shutting down. I got a few urgent emails to do. No part of me wants to do them. Every part of me wants to jump in bed, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to attempt to do day two of um, my challenge, which is leg day. My legs already kill, so we'll see how much I can do. But something's better than nothing. And then I'm gonna take a hot, hot, hot shower. And then I'm gonna finish off my work in bed. Although I try not to work in bed. I try to make it like, bed is for sleeping. But we'll see. I can't walk. I did a bunch of, I took some of um, oh, Cassie stuff. Some stuff I found on the internet. I made my own little workout. I can't walk. It was quick. but. One step at a time, like I said, baby steps, and I can't, legit can't walk. I did some squats, I did some leg lifts, I did some ish. Like I said, baby steps. It's okay if I couldn't do the whole thing, it's okay if I couldn't do a lot. Something's better than nothing. I'm gonna some, crawl my way to the shower now, crawl. Oh, oh, crawl for real. Honestly, the struggle to stand in the shower just now. I'm about to have some honey, look at my dishes. I'm gonna wash this, but you know what I can do it tomorrow. This is the benefit of living alone. It doesn't bother me, I'll do it tomorrow. Can't stand right now, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm gonna make myself some water and honey. Um, I'm actually deciding not to work in bed and to work at my desk, because I'll not be more productive. Um, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Also, the amount of times I forget my towel while taking a shower, and I have to like, run across the floor and make it all wet, it's stupid. I'm like a stupid person. I'm a stupid person. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. Sorry, I just watched this whole thing about uh, Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio's friendship, and I was like, Ugh! so cute, so cute. I'm gonna head to bed. I can't walk. I can't stand. I just gonna end another vlog on the toilet. Oh my God, it hurts so good. It hurts so bad. My God, Bridget. Um, I'm gonna edit this vlog. Then I'm gonna watch, I've decided that something I wanna do is start watching shows. I know I don't have a TV. I'm gonna start watching shows online um, and get subscriptions to stuff uh, to start watching shows because I think it'll help with acting. It'll help me be more in the loop. It'll help with my writing and my comedy because I'll be more informed about different shows and crack different jokes. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna start with Quantico because my girl Priyanka. And then I'm just gonna watch a whole bunch of shows. So that's what's up. And I still gotta watch Fuller House as well. I'm so excited about that. So I'm gonna pee. At this vlog, watch some ish. I see you tomorrow. Today, overall great day. Tomorrow is video day. That's what's up. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Yeah. I was saying that I just had the best motivational talk with myself. I actually developed a little teensy bit of a fever. Uh, I think it's just really hot and I just need to cool down. I got my vitamin C, but I had the best motivational talk with myself. I am freaking ready. I am ready. I am ready.